Welcome to Amazing Life One Channel Guides. Today you watching Blue Cantrell American Singer Lifestyle, Biography and Beautiful Photos. I hope you enjoy this video, like, share, subscribe channel, thank you. For watching video your favorite actress, model, singer, celebrity, biography, photos, images, if you want. Two, see please comment. Starting. Biography Blue Cantrell, born Tiffany Calm, March 16, 1976, is an American rand and soul singer-songwriter. Cantrell rose to fame in 2001 with the release of her debut single, Hit M Up Style Loops, which peaked at number two on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 and topped the U.S. Mainstream Top 40 chart. The song also charted in several other countries, and it was included on her debut album, So Blue. The song earned Cantrell a Grammy Award nomination in 2003. Cantrell released her second album, Bittersweet, which was nominated for a Grammy Award and resulted in the single Breathe, featuring Sean Paul, written and produced by Ivan Moshes. Breathe was a major global success in 2003, especially in the United Kingdom, where it topped the UK singles chart for four consecutive weeks. Breathe also reached the top 10 of several other charts across the world, including the European Hot 100. Early life Tiffany Cobb was born in Providence, Rhode Island. Her mother, former beauty queen Susie Franco, was an actress and jazz vocalist. She is of African American, Narragansett, and Cape Verdean descent on her father's side, and German, French, English, Scottish, and Irish. Semi pan British Isles descent on her mother's. Cantrell's parents split when she was a child, and she and her five siblings Adam, Tino, Nick, Kelly, and Summer were raised by her mother Courier Early Courier in the late 1990s. Cantrell established as a professional backing vocalist for artists, such as Sean Puffy Combs. In 1999, she became member of the girl group 8th Avenue, a protege of singer Teddy Riley. The band recorded several songs and appeared on Blackstreet's 1999 album, Finally. But their material was shelved after Riley left Blackstreet to reform his previous group guy and Blackstreet were dropped by Interscope Records. 8th Avenue also disbanded around that time. Before long, Cantrell was introduced by both a dancer friend and Rand singer Usher to music producer Tricky. Stewart, the head of Red Zone Entertainment, Stewart originally wanted Cantrell to become a member of his girl group 321, but after a fruitful recording session, he offered to help develop Cantrell's solo career instead. Cantrell subsequently moved in with Stewart and his girlfriend in their house in Atlanta and was promptly placed with Arista Records head Antonio L.A. Reed, who offered the singer a contract with the company after hearing one song she wrote and sang in front of him and his staff. After a bidding war with several different labels, Reed's bid was the highest, prompting Cantrell to sign with them 2001 to 2004. So Blue and Bittersweet, after her signing with Arista, Cantrell, went straight into recording sessions with Dallas Austin and Stewart, as well as Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. In July 2001, her debut album, So Blue, was released. The record earned generally favorable reviews from critics and became a commercial success, particularly in North America, where it peaked. At number 8 on the US, Billboard to 100. It was eventually certified gold by both the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA and Music Canada. The album's lead single hit M Up Style Loops became a top 10 hit in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the Netherlands and peaked at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100. The song earned Cantrell Grammy Award nominations for Best Female Rand Vocal Performance and for Best Rand Song, as well as an American Music Award nomination for Favorite New Soul, Rand Bardist, both in 2002. Also in 2002, Cantrell was featured in a small cameo role in Charleston E's musical comedy drama film Drumline, where she could be seen singing the American national anthem. Her song It's Killing Me in My Mind was included on the soundtrack of the 2002 action comedy film Bad Company. In 2003, Cantrell released her second album, Bittersweet, which featured production from Kevin Shakespeare Briggs, Mike City, Soul Shock and Carlin, and Shep Crawford. As with her debut, the album garnered a positive reception from critics, even earning her a Best Rand Album nomination at the 46th Grammy Awards, but was less successful in the United States, peaking at number 37 on the Billboard 200. The album was a success internationally, where sales were boosted by its hit single Breathe, 
a collaboration with Sean Paul. Her highest charting single yet, it topped the charts in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland and reached the top 10 of the majority of charts it appeared on, ranking among the biggest selling releases of the year. Breathe was followed by the top 30 single, Make Me Wanna Scream, 2005 present in 2005. Following the formation of the joint venture of BMG and Sony Music Entertainment, Arista merged with J Records and began operating under the newly formed RCA Music Group at about the same time. Cantrell's recording deal was up for renewal, and though she was in a position to re-sign with the label, the singer chose to leave the company following the resignation of her mentor L.A. Reid. The follow, Ingers, she toured intensively as a free agent in 2007. Cantrell starred alongside Lissere and Kenya Moore in the musical stage play Gossip, Lies and Secrets, which ran from September until November 2007. The following year, she appeared in NBC Celebrity Circus. Cantrell became the first celebrity to be eliminated from the show in the season's second week in 2012. Cantrell confirmed that she was working independently on her third studio album in December 2016. She told Fuse that she was still working on a new album, despite the lack of U.S. success after her. One big hit, Cantrell continues to perform in Australia and Europe personal life Cantrell was taken into custody by police for a psychological evaluation on September 3, 2014. She was seen running around the streets of Santa Monica at around 2 a.m., screaming that someone had poisoned her with gas. Cantrell, according to witnesses, went berserk and referred to herself as a one-hit wonder, questioning authorities whether they recognized her. When her erratic behavior failed to cease, someone called the police. She was taken to a nearby hospital and was evaluated by medics. BLU Cantrell net worth Blue Cantrell. Estimated net worth, salary, income, cars, lifestyles, and many more details have been updated below. Let's check. How rich is Blue Cantrell in 2020 to 2023? According to Wikipedia, Forbes, IMDB, and various online resources. Famous R&B singer Blue Cantrell's net worth is $88 million at the age of 43 years old. She earned the money being a professional R&B singer. She is from Marie. Who is Blue Cantrell dating? Blue Cantrell keeps his personal and love life private. Check back often as we will continue to update this page with new relationship details. Let's take a look at Blue Cantrell past relationships, ex-girlfriends, and previous hookups. Blue Cantrell prefers not to tell the details of marital status and divorce. Dating is to describe a stage in a person's life when he or she is actively pursuing romantic relationships with different people. If two unmarried celebrities are seen in public together, they are often described as dating which means they were seen in public together. And it is not clear whether they are merely friends, exploring a more intimate relationship, or are romantically involved relationship and married life talking about Blue Cantrell's personal life. We all know that Ms. Blue Cantrell is very beautiful and charming. So, there is no doubt that she is loved by other people and admired for which she is. According to some websites, she is currently single. There are many people who love to make Ms. Cantrell their girlfriend, according to some sources. She antecedently had a boyfriend and had affairs with Mr. Jay-Z in 2001 and later on was found that she was dating Mr. Tommy Lee in the year 2003. She is not married yet, therefore, there is not a possibility of having husband and children discussing her early life. She had a small family and she is the daughter of Mrs. Susie Franco and her father is African-American ancestry. Mrs. Susie is an actress and jazz vocalist.